Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anastasia Gacenko. Today I'm going to tell you about my magical delivery in Canada. Yeah, so recently I gave birth to a baby boy. He's super cute. I'm a like, new mom, first time mom, and it's my first baby. It was my first labor, uh, first encounter, and actually, in general, my first. Um, yeah, so I live in Canada, in Calgary. I gave birth at Peter Lockheed uh, Center. Uh, it's super great, super nice hospital, and uh, uh, the, I liked this experience a lot. And today I'm gonna share it with you. So I um, honestly believe that the labor, the, this process of um, delivering a baby, it's um, really something wonderful and magical and uh, I um, uh, strongly uh, believe that uh, like every woman should go through it. It was so beautifully, naturally designed and uh, it, it was kind of initiation into womanhood and so on. Um, okay, so uh, it was uh, in winter in February and uh, <clears throat> that was the period that uh, uh, we have like minus 30 degree uh, and it was super cold <laughs> we went to the hospital like at 3 a.m. Uh, in the morning or night <laughs> I don't know how to tell it how to say it exactly uh, yeah so and it was super empty <laughs> Yeah, the hospital was empty, the roads were empty, but because of the snow, the road was like really bumpy and I was like, oh gosh, how can I survive through it? Yeah, we ordered uh, Uber, yeah, we took a taxi uh, with my husband and actually it was like my due date, yeah, <laughs> like the day after my due date, yeah, so uh, my contraction started in the evening. Uh, uh, on, on my due date on Thursday and then we went to the hospital that night yeah and then I delivered on Friday like the day after my due date so yeah we went to the triage yeah and they checked me and I was like three centimeters dilated and I was like ah I was really upset because uh, my contractions were so like intense and I thought that like I, well, I wanted to arrive uh, to the hospital when I'm like seven or eight centimeters dilated, but well, it was just three and they just, okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then it went really very fast um, into six, yeah, and then into 10, yeah. So uh, basically we arrived at 3 a.m. and at 8 a.m. Uh, in the morning I was already like fully dilated and um, at that moment my water broke and I was just completely happy and I uh, lived through all that contractions with the help of my husband pressing on my pelvis and it was really it was really helpful and I uh, and I always say that my husband like we were like giving birth to our child together yeah so it wasn't just me yeah uh, it wasn't just my work the work of my body yeah but also my husband's as well so it was super helpful yeah and uh then um it was already yeah in uh, the delivery room yeah and then we went to the two hours of uh, pushing yeah and I used like different positions and that is the thing that I really liked about this hospital about the, all the nurses they allowed me uh, to uh, change the position uh, to change uh, like a lot and uh, they uh, monitored my baby on my belly and uh, like everything like the heartbeat yeah so everything was okay with the baby so they allowed me to like change uh, uh, my position <laughs> each time so uh, I um, uh, was on the bed on my uh, knees and uh, um, holding uh, the um, 
a bed with my hands. I uh, sat on the fit, uh, on the fit ball. Yeah, we used to call it fit ball, but here it is called like birth ball. Yeah, so I, I uh, lived through the contra contractions on the uh, birth ball as well. Um, yeah, so and then I went through two hours. Yeah. Uh, of pushing uh, and after two hours of pushing I really had my baby <laughs> yeah it was super I don't know how to say it it was really amazing because um, it's like my first experience I wasn't like um, I didn't know how that process how like about that process about the feelings yeah but I lived through it without any um, medical interference yeah without um, uh, without um, uh, um, epidural yeah so uh, I uh, so my delivery was completely unmedicated I didn't use any like painkillers I didn't use epidural I didn't use anything yeah so I used only my techniques and like um, hypnobirthing techniques yeah and I um, really adored it um, yeah and so I was super calm super happy and you know that oxytocin from my like uh, my um, body that my body all that hormones uh, that my body produced and we, like I, my body did a really great job <laughs> there um, and yeah, I had this positive experience of uh, the delivery and uh, I really um, I strongly recommend uh, uh, using, uh, like preparing for my deli for delivery, yeah, for giving birth to a child. Uh, and I was preparing like through the whole my pregnancy, uh, during the whole my pregnancy. So I bought a course, hypnobirthing, it's in Russian, but still uh, uh, like I like it and I was preparing uh, for like more than a year, more than half a year. Um, so when I found out that I'm pregnant, I immediately bought that course uh, and it was online and it was really great and uh, I really used it a lot and uh, it was like my feeling I felt like every contraction it was so powerful and it felt like a mm, tsunami you know <laughs> not just waves yeah that were going through my body but real tsunami it was like super strong super powerful and after the delivery they put my baby on the me and it was oh my god I, I really experienced so so many emotions <laughs> and we spent like it wasn't a golden hour we were planning it yeah but uh, it was not one not just one hour but two and it was really great while nurse was uh, um, like uh, filling all the forms all the uh, documentation yeah we were just lying and I tried to breastfeed and that was really amazing feeling <laughs> when your baby is onto you yeah you know when you were uh, carrying your baby <laughs> for nine months in your belly yeah and then you just like here yeah the actual human yeah the actual uh, the real uh, the real baby yeah and uh, in like two hours uh, after two hours plus yeah we uh, were transferred into postpartum um, unit yeah into postpartum uh, room uh, it was semi-private semi-private there was uh, another family and there were curtains yeah, and another family yeah so i even didn't <laughs> didn't see them yeah and my partner my husband stayed with me all the time and uh, we were uh, discharged on the next day in the evening so like I delivered my baby at 10 a.m. Uh, on Friday and uh, then on Saturday at 5 p.m. approximately yeah we were discharged and I was really uh, um, willing to go home yeah because I don't like hospitals and so on uh, yeah and like all that stuff but like it was nice experience it was like nice stuff and so on 
in, in the hospital i'm like super pleased with all of that uh yeah but i really wanted to go home um yeah so how did we uh, like after we were discharged we went uh, uh home <laughs> yeah and uh, the next day we went to the um post part like public nurse yeah like that's the common practice here in Cal in canada yeah so we went to the public nurse and spent two hours there yeah and it wasn't <laughs> that um convenient and comfortable for me to like to go in in the to go by taxi yeah by a car because like i had also like the, the second degree tearing and it wasn't that comfortable for me to sit you know yeah but then um like after some time it all uh, healed and everything is okay now i can sit <laughs> yeah but still experience some um un uncomfortable feelings yeah but that um, everything is okay yeah i'm uh, recovering um yeah and then in a week um uh, when the baby was one week old yeah we went to the family doctor to introduce him yeah to the family doctor and um like to get his like um parameters and to get him into the system yeah there were some common questions about midwives and pain stuff and so on so i'm just gonna like uh, answer them here yeah we didn't um, have midwife we didn't find it we didn't uh, search for it um yeah so uh it was completely like with the staff uh, on the shift yeah that were working and i didn't even know before i went to the hospital i didn't even know the doctor who i was uh, um, delivering with and uh, um who yeah who will deliver my baby and the nurses i didn't know anything yeah and then we uh, went to the uh, hospital we like uh, went to the to that team that was working on that shift and on that time and yeah um so no midwife was necessary i guess uh yeah and as for pain yes yeah, so the um delivery like all the medical system in uh, canada is free yeah uh, if you have the insurance and uh, it's, uh, we live in Alberta, uh, in the province of Alberta, and so we have this Alberta Healthcare, and uh, we use that, and that's basically it. Yeah, we are paying taxes, we are working, we are both working with my husband. Yeah, uh, we are paying tax, uh, taxes, and <laughs> I guess that is our in, um, uh, yeah, investing. <laughs> Uh, in a part into the medicine to the deliver our into the delivering our baby so we paid nothing and no bills were addressed to us and that is super like <laughs> that is super good yeah that is great yeah actually that we like all, all the things were covered and uh, provided for us yeah and we didn't have to uh, pay we didn't have to bribe anyone yeah you know uh, like uh, it uh, like um, common practice in some countries like in my country in my own country uh, bribery is really like bribery corruption is really uh, widespread but not here not in canada and that is why i'm so pleased with my experience as well yeah so basically that's it that i wanted to tell you and if you have any questions like i'm open to answer them yeah you can write them in comments and uh, maybe uh, if uh, there will be lots of questions i'll do the uh, whole video like q a uh, and um, yeah see you in the next videos